what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl g baby that's g dot b a b i i and if you don't want to call me g baby then you already know you can call me the seventh letter in the alphabet so you guys today i'm actually going to be doing a video about my daughters Vienna and kalani the dinner sisters um you guys have been asking me to do a video about like the details on what made me choose certain things for the girls and i feel like you guys didn't really pay attention as far as what i meant like i never chose anything for them like i never chose for Zianna to be a rapper i never chose for kalani to be a model or an actress or Zian to be a model or an actress. I never chose any of those things for them. They chose those things themselves. And I know that might seem complicated to some people who don't have, I guess, kids who are just open and like free spirited, who can just tell you exactly what they want. But my kids told me what they wanted and I didn't tell them okay you gotta do this or you gotta do that it was just kind of like once they told me what they wanted I went head first into trying my best to make those things happen for them so in today's video I'm going to give you guys a full rundown on like how I knew this was what they wanted um them actually showing me their talents and opening up about who they want to be and why I why I pushed to make those things happen for them once they did bring it to my attention. Try to watch the full video so you can get a clear understanding of like you know who they are and where everything started. <laughs> yeah, y'all asked for this video and y'all know I love to talk about my babies. So let's get into it. So you guys, on the first half of this video, we are going to talk about Zianna. Zianna, aka Z the Great, <laughs> is my seven year old daughter. She is my oldest daughter. Um, Zita has a very outgoing personality. <laughs> she is very open about everything. Like, you can ask her anything, and she's gonna be very blunt and open about how she feels about things um she always been that way she has a free spirit she's very moody very um she's been a very moody person her entire life uh she has i don't know i guess mood swings that's what i like to call them but um for the most part she is a happy person She's always, always singing or rapping or dancing. And she has to be up all the time doing something. She's not a, a sit down and... Well, she's just not a sit down person at all. That's how I'm going to put it. Um, Zita started rapping, like, freestyling on her own. She was about maybe four years old. No, no lie, you guys. She was about four. And she just would sit around and make hooks to songs all day long. Like, you can just say something to her and she'll make it into a song. And it would just come natural to her to make things into songs by the time Zianna was like five she was actually like just freestyling like saying things um 
yeah she started freestyling making her own freestyles or make her own hook sometimes the songs and a lot of times she'll make a hook and then know what else to do with it <laughs> so it was like she'll come to me for help like what else should i put with this song and i taught her like okay you tell me what you like or what some things you would want to say in your songs and i just write it down and it went from me just writing down things that she put in a song and eventually we start piecing those things together and making a song like she would whole hell complete reps wrote down in books after a while it was like songs like you could tell the pieces had came together like whole songs and it's like she wrote them on her own at like five years old i'm gonna get it and hands and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm five years old i named z nana my sister helped me and my mama want me to do my mama wanted walk me in stage and did it and i rap it in myself and my baby i walk in stage to get it in for so around that time i started letting her get on my personal Facebook page or on live on her Instagram and kind of like just rap to the people who would tune in and listen to her. And she enjoyed doing that a lot. So she'll get on live and rap or she'll just get on my Facebook story and rap. And people actually tuned in to watch and hear what she had to say. This time my name is Zita Gray. This time my name is Zita Gray. Say my name is yeah. I'm a Z I D A G R A. The first song that Zianna ever wrote was Like a Snake. And she actually wrote Like a Snake at four, going on five years old. She was like almost five. Um no, she was five. She was five years old and she wrote Like a Snake. And um <laughs> She, she wrote the song and it was basically like, uh, mama write down, I love to play with my LOL dolls. Mama write down, I love to play in my playroom. And you know, things like that. And I wrote the things down. Um, if you actually listen to the lyrics, it says, well, we ended up changing because at first it said, I'm five years old, I got big goals. But she actually went to the studio at six. So we changed the lyrics to, I'm six years old. And it says, I'm six years old, I got big goals. My favorite toys be my LL dolls. You'll catch me in my playroom all day long and move to the beat till I sing this song. Big cash. Big cup, big toes, big juice, I'm a little kid with big gold. Catch her on your TV and fresh show. You know, say, love me, I lay more. I did it all by myself, I was six years old. I understand, yes, you know, it's done, I still. I find a mad child, talk about them about wood. Talk from my land, all the witches out of wood. I like getting money like a witches out of good. Ain't no talkers don't hear me on the FaceTime. Black them dogs, I'm in one in the blood race time. I talk to my don't take girls, don't take my heart. I'm gonna go and get my sleep at time. A lot of people don't know, but Zianna's very first performance was actually in Macon, Georgia, our hometown. And um, it was on Halloween night. And it was at Tiffany Tillman's um Jacole's Life Center you guys she had posted about she was having a kids event and I kind of just I guess targeted my daughter towards her I was like you know my baby's a kid rapper you having a kid event check out her music you know check her music out and let me know you know like what you think and I sent her stuff over to her just to look at. And she was like, yeah, we would love to have her come and be a part of our event and perform. And I was just excited because I'm like, this is her first show. And I was really not nervous though. I wasn't because I don't know. She never gave me that feeling that I should be nervous. It's like, 
she always had this personality like I'm just gonna go out and do it it was never a fear to it like it was just I'm ready so when I brought it to her attention that they was gonna have fright night at Jacole's she was like I'm ready yes I got a show uh, I'm ready let's practice <laughs> And we got straight to practicing and straight to it. And that was that. What's up, guys? It's me, Zinni Bay. Make sure you pull it up by Fight Night at Jacob, October the 30th at Macon, Georgia. Now we hit the stage and we go going live, and this is going to do. Boo. Period, boo. performance was amazing for it to be her first performance but what I didn't realize was after her first performance that people was gonna call her to do more performance it started happening so quickly and she was getting shows at different places at different times and it was kind of like I had to accommodate her new talent and accommodate this new um, dream that she had, which was being a rapper. And then at that point, being a rapper became her number one priority. So I had to make some changes to to fit in with what was needed for her. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl Z the the girl, and I be live in Atlanta, Georgia, this weekend. It's your girl Z the the girl, and I will be live in Jacksonville, Florida. I get your tickets for the L R E E. Get your ticket free, and you wanna turn. Girl ZZ, I'm gonna turn up in these laptop trees. And when I hit the 
a mullet at the In Influencer. Straight out of Macon, Georgia. I'm on billboards, magazine, toy boxes, even some of your favorite TV show, Black Mother Family. Today I'm gonna be repping my song, running up. DJ, I'm ready. she did the better her energy became on stage and the better her stage presence became and she just became a better artist all around yeah now i go by the name zia the great i'm a seven years old kid rapper a model an actor and an influencer straight out of Macon, georgia and i heard a lot of y'all don't know my name so today, before you leave here, I'm going to make sure you know who I am and this is my speck of my name. Walk to the front, walk to the back, feeling in the sky. Walking out of my little style, drop it to the ground. Go on, pick it up, make it bust. Go on, wrap it down. If you feel it silly, then go on and shake it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Nope. What, do the most? Fight night. Not like. So yeah, you guys, that's Zita. She is still currently seven years old during the time of me filming this video, you guys. She's still a model, an actress, a social media influencer, and a kid rapper. Um, she is doing an amazing job with everything right now. She is striving to be her best. One thing about Zita that I love is the passion that she has behind every single thing that she does. Um, this girl is seven years old, but the personality that she has, the hard work that she puts into things is something that you don't see in a lot of children her age. That's something you mostly see in an adult who's ready to make that transition into having a better lifestyle or being a better person. But I see those things in my seven year old. Um, she's always just trying her best. She's a perfectionist and she shows it with everything that she does. Um, I don't know if she'll always be a rapper, a model, influencer or any of those things. But like I tell her and Kalani every day, no matter what they decide to do, I will support them. I don't care if they decide they want to quit all of this tomorrow and just, you know, I don't know, uh, decide to be a librarian. Okay, I'm going to support that. I'll be at the library every day quietly reading me a book as long as it makes you happy. I don't, I don't care what they do. I just want them to do things that make them happy. And Zianna has expressed to me so much how music makes her happy. Performing for a crowd makes her happy. Uh, getting on that stage makes her happy. So it's like I'm doing everything I can to maintain her, staying in that same field to make her be in her happy place. Like for me, I just want to see her thrive with it. So it's like I don't know, I kind of focus on letting her do it because I want her to be happy.
Okay, you guys, so we are about to hop into the second half of this video, and all I'm going to talk about on this side of this video is my youngest daughter, who is Kalani Yvette Dennis, a.k.a. Princess Lunny. You guys, if you don't know my youngest daughter, then y'all about to get to know her. Kalani is five years old. She is a kid model, an actress, and an influencer, you guys. Kalani has been modeling since she was about one years old. And I'm going to tell y'all the full story about modeling and acting on Kalani's end and how things went for her and finding what was her thing that just meshed with her perfectly and how I knew that's what it was and all that good stuff. A lot of y'all point out that Kalani is very shy and quiet from watching stuff on social media about her, which is true. She has her moments where she is really quiet. She has her moments where she reserves to herself. She kind of just suck her fingers, stay in the cut. She watches everything and she observes her surroundings a lot. Yes, that is Kalani. Yes. But there is also two sides to Kalani that a lot of people don't know. Kalani is a talker. She talks a lot. She has a wonderful personality. Uh, she's so outgoing and bubbly. And she just always likes to have love. Like someone hugging her, holding her. She go to sleep on people. Like She acts like a little baby all the time. Like That's just her but she loves love from people she loves to feel love from people so it's like she'll always hug you or she'll always rub on you before she go to sleep or even if she woke she just like rubbing people and just having that type of connection with people that she actually care about it's always some type of affection with her like she's an affectionate person but she's also really like her personality is like really just full. She likes to sing, even though most people don't know that Kalani likes to sing. She actually loves to sing. Uh, they can't tell you. Hey, get it, Mo. front of a crowd she hasn't got to the point where she is okay with being in front of a crowd and I'm the type of mom I'm not gonna push her to do something just because I know she liked it or just because I know she good at it it got to be more of the fact that you want to do it you want to get in front of that audience and you want to let that audience see who you are and let that shine she isn't at that point yet. She's not to the point where she's like, okay, I'm comfortable enough to go to a studio. I'm comfortable enough to get on the stage and perform. So I don't make her do that. Lenny loves to cook and she can cook at five years old. So she actually plans on starting a segment in their channel where she's going to have cooking dinner with Lenny. And you guys will actually see how Lenny prepares meals and cook for us at home. So she wants to do that on YouTube on the regular. So I am going to let her start doing that. And um, I'm going to let you guys watch her do that. Because it's something that she's really good at. And her food is pretty good. Like I said, five years old, baby. I got a five-year-old shelf on my hand. What are you talking about? My baby's a five years old. Shelf. Master Shelf Junior. Here we come. <laughs> Believe it or not, you guys, at first, Kalani did not like taking pictures like at all. Um, I started trying to take pictures of her even at home on my own phone or with a camera and she just 
did not like it. She did not like being in front of any camera. She did not like a camera near her. Like, it just wasn't something that she personally liked. She kind of just wanted to chill, sit back, watch TV, uh, suck on her finger even then as a baby, or have her sippy cup right there with her, drink her juice, and chill. She always been very laid back type kid like it really wasn't important no matter if she did or she didn't for her it was like I'm just chilling and eventually of course I kept trying I kept trying to and it's not that it's not that I was trying because I wanted her to do it it's just I was trying because I didn't want her to feel like left out especially the fact that Zianna was still doing this so heavy and even then, because she started at like five months. So it's like, I wasn't looking for the same thing out of Kalani, but I did want them both to do the same job. But Kalani wasn't feeling it, and I wasn't going to keep forcing it on her. So I was like, you know, cool. I would be wrong to keep pushing something on her that she doesn't want, or she possibly doesn't want. But... I was totally wrong because about one year old, she was like, I'm ready. She just jumped up. She jumped in the pictures. She was she was ready to do whatever. And I was, I was like, okay, well, now I know. Because at first, it was negative for her. She just wasn't going to do it. And nobody was going to make her do it, even then. And that's Kalani's deal to this day. Like, if she doesn't want to do something, there is nobody who can make her do it. When Kalani is on any set as their model, one thing about it, you're going to see her full potential you're going to see her shine you're going to see her personality behind that camera behind each photo like you see a different type of joy in her while she just on set working and to her it's all just fun and it's all about just playing with toys and stuff a lot of people think that it might be too much on kids to do print modeling or acting but for my kids, I can honestly say it's not. They honestly just look at it all as fun. To be honest, you guys, I cannot think of any type of brand or company that Kalani hasn't had the opportunity to model for. She has done hair products, shoes, clothes, toys, books. Um, I mean, literally, there is no reach to what she hasn't done like um, I'm trying to think no I mean literally she has done it all um, Kalani became an amazing print model you guys over time but she did have her flaw, which was that she did not know how to smile on camera. Um, therefore, I had came up with the technique to teach him her how to smile. That did not work. So I make her laugh. And when she's on set, we make her laugh so we can actually get a smile out of her. If she laughs, 
it turns into a beautiful smile. So we really do that more than just telling her to smile. Because if you tell her to smile, you're you're not gonna get a smile. You you're gonna have to make her laugh to get that smile. And you know, it's a beautiful smile once you get it. And it's a great experience to see her actually out there modeling and doing the work. Because one thing about Lenny, she loved to see her own work. She loved to see herself in magazines. She loved to see herself on billboards. She she loved it all. She gonna sit back and she gonna be like, that me, look at me, look at me. And it's like, it's funny to me because she still does this. She is five years old and she still does this. And she started that at like one. It's me, look at me, look at me. You see me? And now she's like, gonna be six. Uh, in December, she'll be six. And she still does the same thing. She ain't gonna change. So yeah, I would say it's about like two years ago and we are on set. The girls are playing in a film, but they are only playing background. They don't play a major like character or anything. They literally got to go on set just to eat food that day. And the best thing was we met so many cool people. So, we get on set and everything's going fine. Like I said, we was meeting people and people was getting to know the girls. The girls were getting to know people. And on that day, we actually met this wonderful lady named Kim. So, you guys, Kim is a independent film casting director. So, after she met Kalani and Ziana on set, she reached out to me and she says... I have a part for a movie, and we need a little girl to play in this film. And I'm like, okay, you know, send me the information, because we was ready. We, we was ready. So I'm like, send me the information, and we will check out everything and go from there. She sends me over the information, and I check out everything. I talked to the casting director. We went over... We went over some things. We didn't quite know everything yet, but we did go over some things. And once we did that, Kalani was booked to play Sarah. Well, little Sarah. She would be the younger version of Sarah in the film. She did really good. Yeah. Is it action? Yeah. And, Did you have fun? And the jig clothes. And the jig clothes. She did really good. <laughs> Can you get a fist bump? <laughs> <laughs> 
So Kalani was giving her lines, y'all, to play in the movie. When Kalani got her lines, she was like very determined, like from the jump. Okay, let's go over my lines. Let's practice my lines. Let's do this every day. It was like on her own, something that she wanted to do. It was like constantly practice, 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 just by herself. Nobody pressured her to do it. It was just something that she wanted to do. I don't like changing my life. Why, baby? What's wrong? I thought you liked children's church. Mm. Baby, something wrong. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? Oh, baby, baby, something's wrong. Oh, oh. Let me get my phone. Mommy, what's wrong? What's wrong? Mommy, what's wrong? And this is how I found out that Kalani was an amazing kid actress. Baby, my child was. I'm talking about she knew her lines. We. We learned them lines so quickly, baby. She had me. I was reading the lines for other people, and she did her part. And then the director, Latrice, she always had, like, days we did Zoom meetings, and everybody was on the call, and went over the script together. So, Kalani had a lot of practice time, and she was enjoying the practice time. Like, it was something that she just was ready to do. She would remind me, hey, mama, we got practice today. Like, don't forget. And I just knew then, like, my baby liked doing this. This is her calling. See my slides. Mommy, Mommy, can you hear me? Huh? Of course I hear you, baby girl. She was your best friend. Can I get some candy? Aw. Yes, you can definitely go get some candy. <laughs> Go ahead, baby girl. So you guys, when I tell you that Kalani's acting skills are on 10, baby, I mean it. My girl can act, okay? My baby is five years old and she can act. She can act. Like, I'm telling y'all, she played in both of these movies, you guys. In both movies, she was a very emotional character. Like, she had very emotional scenes to play. And she, she was four years old playing in these movies. And she did it with no problem. With no problem. She can change her emotions like nothing. And I never seen that in somebody as young as Kalani who can just go on a set and change the whole emotion in the matter of seconds just to fit in with a character, a fictional character to play a role in a film. So Kalani does an amazing job with acting. I feel like that's her thing. Like, you can't tell me that ain't my baby thing. Acting is, is her thing. By the way, you guys, if you like uh, footage of Clay acting, you can head over to the Dennis Sisters YouTube channel and you can watch full behind the scenes of Clay playing in movies and starring in movies at four years old. One of my top favorite memories of Kalani in her career is actually getting to experience her being on a product box. Um, Kalani was so excited about being on a product box. From the time she learned she was going to be the person on the product box, she was excited. It was like, is it me? just me i'm gonna be on the product box and i'm like yes just you and she was just happy from then on so when she actually got to see the product box the expression she had was priceless you guys so i did get to actually catch some of that on footage and a video which the video is on their youtube page you guys 
um they do have their own personal youtube channel so you guys can check that out as well over on their channel but you know i'm gonna drop some clips here so you guys can actually see her reaction because to me i love kalani's reaction when she sees herself on things like when lani sees herself she love it like you know she love it it's like it's me I don't care who else here. I don't care what else here. I'm here. It's me. To be a hundred percent honest, you guys, I am so proud of Kalani. Like I have literally sat around between last year and this year and watched her change from this super shy acting person, <laughs> like to actually opening up and being more. I guess being more aware to the fact that she can still be to herself and still get to know people and talk to other people outside of me, my mom, my, and her sister. Like, she don't have to be an anti-social person. I have seen her grow to the point where she actually speaks to people now without sticking her hand in her mouth and hide behind me and things like that. Like, she has changed in that time frame to a place where she's trying to balance. Okay, this is the person I am, which is a little shy, but this is also the person that I am, which is a little out there, and that's okay. It's okay to have those two different modes. You just have to figure out a way to balance it. And I have definitely watched her try her best to figure out how that's working for her and you know I'm proud of her for that because I feel like it was something that was needed like because she was just always off in the cut by herself or always somewhere by herself just doing things with just herself or with her sister only so I'm trying to get her more out to doing things with other people and I'm not trying to force her to change. I hate when people feel like that's what I'm doing because that's what I'm not doing. I'm not doing it. I never change her. I love her just the way she is. Um, I love everything about both of my children. I try my best to put whatever um, foot forward that I need to put forward to make sure that I am doing whatever it takes to make them see that everything I do is for them. Like, everything that I am in general is because of Xeonic. So, 
I really just try to let that show to them. Both of them. Regardless. And, you know, they could do anything in the world. Anything. And I would still be 100% proud of them. Because they're my babies. You know? And I'm pretty sure anybody would be proud of their kids with anything that they do. So, I am proud of them with everything they do. I don't understand people who are like, all you do is talk about your kids or you post about your kids all day because I'm proud of them. Yep. Don't you post your kid and talk about your kid all day because you're proud of them. So, yeah, I definitely i am proud of both of my girls equally and all the accomplishments that they make and watching them grow daily has been just like something amazing to me so i am you know i at the moment i'm just chilling sitting back watching and letting them try a little bit of everything like i said whatever they come to me and they tell me they want to try that's positive i'm for it um I'm going to do whatever I can to learn more and to get more knowledge in on myself, on my end, as their mom and their momager to help them strive in whatever field that they are interested in at the time. I do understand that children change every day and they, they decide that they do want to do something or they don't want to do something daily. I haven't came across that situation with my children yet, but if I do, I wouldn't be uh, mad or discouraged. It'll just be a new opportunity for me to learn and for them to learn. We learning all this stuff together. Everything we doing right now, we're learning it together so we can go up to a different level in life. Since Zeanna and Kalani have been breathing, I have been telling them that they have to pray, study, and work hard. And I honestly feel like they do all of those things. Um, prayer, without prayer, where would we be, you know? Bless mama and God bless both of my God bless Uncle Ma and Uncle. God bless Papa and God bless Poopa Auntie. God bless Mocha and God bless. God bless everybody. Amen. Good night. I feel like without prayer where would we be without the gift that God gives us where would we be God gave me so many amazing gifts including Zian and Glenn like their life was a gift to me and you know I just teach them that you should pray pray for the things that you want pray for the people that you love and study do your schoolwork because without schoolwork we can't do modeling acting we can't do dancing we can't do rapping we can't do none of that none of that school come first it's your number one priority do your schoolwork first and then the rest of falling place people p e o p l e spell please please p l e a s Spell. Uh, please. <laughs> Spell time. Time. Spell look. L O O K. Spell the. The. T H E. The. Spell yes.
right, take it around. Good job. Take it around again, girl. One more time, one more time. Uh-oh, well, one hump in, another hump in. I stole How many stars on there? This is one. Okay. It's What's pieces. the next thing? A circle. A circle. How many circles on there? Two. Good job. What's the next shape? An octagon. How many octagons on there? One. The. The. At. What is it? Bat. Mm -hmm. Bat is. The bat is. When Ziana and Kalani aren't focused on schoolwork or work work, they actually do acting classes or modeling. Modeling don't really have a class. We do more of the fact that they just go photo shooting, like do photo shoots with different people, collab with people, do photo shoots, um, just to stay relevant uh influencer gigs where they are actually modeling people's brands or companies clothing things like that and that is what i use for them for their modeling like you know skills building their modeling skills but they take acting lessons to help them prepare for acting roles and you know know how to have great facial expressions and all those type of things to be ready if they book another movie or TV show or any of those type of things in the future. You scare me! Like you're scared. Go ahead, try that. Like you're surprised. You scare me! You scare me! Good job. Now do you want to try one? Now say, I'm happy with snacks. Go, go, squeeze. Apple sauce. My favorite snack. It's so good. You just squeeze it. It's delicious. Nice job. That one is awesome. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> now she's in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a regret about my kids in this industry, it would be the fact that I did not start them a YouTube channel sooner. Um, Zian and Kalane have had their YouTube channel for like going on two years now, but I really feel like they could have had their YouTube channel for way more years. All the opportunities they had, um, we could have vlogged about or post footage about, had that to go off of. And I've also noticed that since we got YouTube, we pulled in a lot more sponsored content with like major brands and companies. Although we was always getting those, well not always, not always, but like we've been getting major brands and companies for a long time now. It's just, I got more, more opportunities once I came to YouTube. So I personally would tell everybody, do the YouTube route. Even though Instagram route works, it's how I started with my girls. It's been working for them for all their life, but the YouTube route for us was, it was just better. Uh, it wasn't easier. It was actually much harder, much harder, but very much so worth it.
topics, ask for thoughts and new own things. And most of all, my little pony, new generation movement. And my pony show with the Dennis sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Come with us to see the movie Paws of Furry, Legend of Hate. We're invited by Paramount Pictures. Thank you, Paramount Pictures, for your partnership with the Dennis Sisters. Thank you. All right, the Dennis Sisters are in the house, and they have multi-brand resumes going on. They have done modeling for several different companies. Can you all remember any of the companies that they the names of companies that you have done? No, bunch of them, huh? Me, Me, I know about the... I know about the toys. So you guys have the toys? How many of you clothing companies? I'm just trying to yeah. yeah, I did that. Okay, so is this your first, is this your you guys first time doing a fashion show? Yes, I, I do two fashion shows, but I didn't do one of them too. Um, another regret is the fact that I started my kids' TikTok so late. Um, I don't know. It's not that TikTok, like, stopped us or slowed us down or any of that. It's more of... The fact that I have been dancing with my kids pretty much from the time they were babies. <laughs> like, it always been just us. We would dance. We had dedicated a day on Instagram that we was dancing, me and the kids. And, you know, like, if I could rewind time when TikTok first came as a thing, I should have started then and instead of starting so late. But I do want to tell you guys I appreciate all of you for um, following us over on TikTok. And, you know, the following's coming in, and it's very much appreciated. Your ears and make the la la sound. Looking at my drip, looking at your drip. So I hope that this video did help you guys understand a little bit more why I always say the girls chose what they wanted because they had their whole heart into it. It was something that they already showed complete interest in and I just pushed to make them be successful in it 
because they were already so amazing in it. I just wanted them to see the full potential that they had already in their own fields of things that they did. Like, they're both different. So I had to figure out what each child liked and basically just press on it. So once I found out what was their um what was their thing, like what what made them happy to do, then I used what made them happy and I turned it into something that they could profit from or something that they could use for future success. And I personally don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, to each his own, some people do, but I'm, I'm a stick beside it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing because I mean, I personally don't see a problem with it. Um, I mean, if you don't understand after this, then child, I don't know. The camera just ran away. <laughs> I guess that is a sign, child. That is a sign. So. I'm about to call this video a wrap, baby. This it. I wish y'all a whole lot of peace, love, and blessings. <laughs> and remember, if it ain't about the bag, baby, we ain't stressing it. Period.